have you told everyone that I'm leaving, that we're selling the ranch? I don't want you wasting your life here in this. It's so. I won't, Sophie. I won't. Dad left me the ranch and I'm staying. You know that, oh, Mother. That's not now. Not today. Please. I came here with, with one, only one pair. Peau de soie, bridesmaid shoes. The mice made a bed in them, first season. First year. Thirty years later, I'm still standing here in flat shoes, washing dishes. And every other girl in the country who looks like you can at least expect to come away from university with a man who can buy her a dishwasher. You put away your father's damn books. You don't know mange from hoof rot. Mother, please go in and lie down. I can do these dishes myself. The sky is late and I've got lots of time. You know perfectly well it's not the dishes and don't pretend it is. Fine. Your father had dreams. Charming in a man. Thank the good Lord for that bit of money my grandfather left me. Ian was a loon to leave you this ranch. And you're a worse loon not to sell it. You can't afford to hire someone to work you don't know. Well, I can't do it alone, and I am going to do it. So his mother says he's a very good worker, and he knows the farm. Yes, well, this young buck, Alexander Bresnichuk, as it so happens, is... Come in. Hi. Hi. Just carry on with the dishes. So I, uh, <clears throat> well, I suppose your mother's told you everything about the job, and now it's not a lot of money, I know, but um... didn't we go to high school together? Yeah. Well, it's been a long time. I mean, since, what, high school, I guess, huh? Yeah. Fifteen years, about? So. So is your mother moving to Vancouver? Yeah. She's got a sister there, so she's gonna go live with her and... I'm sorry about your dad. Yeah, thanks. The uh, ranch ends in that valley there, and past that point, it's the uh... Burley's. Burley's land. Thank you. So, what'd you do in Toronto? I was a lounge act. A what? I played piano in bars. You know, don't cry for me, Argentina, Moon River, like that. Really? Yeah, the fences are all in bad shape, but 
We sold off the cow-calf operation when Dad got sick and kind of let them go. It's good land for cow-calf. Well, horses, I was thinking. So I understand you were away for a while? Yep. But you moved back, I guess. Yeah. For good? Oh, I don't know. Four men in one home's pretty tough. Try two women. Seven in the ring, boys. Same old, same old. All right. Good bet. You bet you're good steers, boys. Good in people, boys. Overnight, sell on here. Right. Sell on here. Eight and quarter, and a half. Eight and quarter, half. Seventy-five, half. Seventy-five, half. Seventy-five, half. Seventy-five, your turn. Eight, seventy-five, half. Don Herman half. bought some of your father's breeding stock. Mrs. Is it? Miss. 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 Seventy-quarter, seventy-quarter, half. Seventy, seventy-five, half. One daughter, nine. Gonna be seventy-one, one. Seventy-one. Seventy, seventy-five, half. One. Sold bull, seventy, seventy-five. The tango buys, seventy, seventy-five. You're not interested in anything here. Effort's pretty basic, but uh, I think you should have a look at Charlotte Cross. It's real good stock. I don't know. My instinct's still horses. Well, I want to live and work with things I love. Well, that's pretty sentimental. Horses aren't very practical. You never get used to them, do you? Beg your pardon? Sunsets. Maybe you would if she'd ever repeat one. <laughs> so, I gather you don't think horses make sense for me. Well, they're pricey, Sophie. I mean, you could breed quarter horses, but it'd cost you. Now, if you got something paying for it, then three years, yeah. Three years? Boy, have I been thinking day to day. Why are you staying here anyway? Because I don't want to spend my life in some smoky bar wearing a sequin top playing New York, New York for potential heart attack victims, that's why. <laughs> Who was it you dated in high school, Alex? Alex? I guess I was sleeping. I guess. Did I snore? Well, mm -hmm. I'm only kidding you. <laughs> Do you want a cup of coffee? No. Thanks. Well, if you wanted to, you could take the truck from here. Get an early start in the morning. forest <laughs> and waving and now we're strong maples reach up very very strong and very very tall so how was the cattle auction <laughs> lots of cattle lots of alexander bresnichon oh i just remember what i hate about small towns they sure love women like you I want to see a beefalo, okay? Can I see one every day? Ooh, a bit transparent. There are a few things you don't know about Mr. B. Gossip, so attractive in a man. Fine, fine, okay, no problem. I suppose you and um, uh, Alex have uh, plans for Saturday night? Well, of course we don't. Great, pick you up the usual time? Fab. And since you're not interested, I promise not to tell you anything more about Alex. Like why you left? 
but I'll bet you wish I had. Thompson just delivered the irrigation pipes. Check them off against the invoice? No, but I'm sure they're fine. Mm -hmm. Well, that rig's coming in Saturday, so we should probably hire a couple day workers through Sunday. Yeah, OK. Well, what about your brother, Luke? No. Take your eye off him for a second. He's got his nose in the book. <laughs> I guess you'd be going out Saturday. No. Okay. Good. Church Bridge Club give prizes, like them little bars of soap with, with, with beads and stuff like that, stuck in them with pins. Nice to look at, but you can't dust them. Oh. <laughs> ah, slip that one. Five diamonds, game. <gasps> well, I'm off. Bye-bye. Where are you going, Pat? Into town, a movie. With Robert? one phone in this house? Robert. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm glad I caught you. Listen, uh, oh, you won't believe this. Something really stupid's come up, and I can't, um, yeah, I know. Uh, really, I'm, I'm really sorry about this, but it, no, stop. Of course I am. I just, I forgot I had this prior thing, you know, I can't. Yes, quite frankly, with Alex. Well, uh, so are you, too. Oh, Sophie, no. No what? Well, I hardly think it's appropriate. Appropriate? Well, I don't see what you're going oh. to talk about. He's not educated. Well, I'm only thinking of you. Now, you know, I don't care, but other people... I mean, he's Ukrainian. We're going to a movie, not breeding. Well, I, for one, think that Robert is quite the gorgeous thing. Well, he's free tonight. Your father would... No fair. He's no manners. Don't wait up. another grill just oh it's uh oh uh, walter hi hey soph alex God, walter you hated it here yeah well you know i'm supporting three kids now and big yeah. ruth mcintyre so ruth, i guess really? i better like it oh, wow. <laughs> besides i in part own the place now do you in part so what can i get you uh 
I'll have a burger with gravy on the fries and a milk, please. You got it. Oh, you don't sell the rice pudding, do you? You bet, we sure do. Great, I'll have that. Drink? Pineapple shake. No, I won't. I'll have soda water. That's good. Ooh, look at this. Do you have a quarter? Yeah. Brown eyed girl. He's so fine, you can't hurry, love. Oh, oh. Do you remember this? <laughs> Listen. Um. No. No, I'm you. <laughs> well, you know Robert Markovich to the high school? I know you're seeing him, yeah. Well, I'm Jerk busy. day. Well, then it's some kind of guide competition thing, no. because... He... Sophie, um... <laughs> There's something I've been thinking about, something I want to talk to you about. Hmm? You know I want a place, right? I want a ranch, and, uh... Great, thanks. <laughs> well... Anyway, I, uh... I think you got what it takes for ranching. I really do. I guess I didn't for a while there, though. Really? What it means is that we both got something that the other one wants now. So you think I'm, uh, what? You mean, what do I think of you? Okay. I think you have just about the nicest forearms I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure quite what you mean. You want to stay on your father's place, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I want to stay on your father's place, too. I'm sorry, you've lost me completely. Can we just go back a bit? I'm proposing that we get married. No, I'm serious. You know, we could have a long engagement till you could, uh, till you could see that... See what? That we could do it, that we could make it work. See, I think I'd make a good husband, and I'm pretty sure you'd make a good wife. This would be business. I insult you? Look, can't we just sleep together like reasonable adults? Sophie, I'm 29, okay? You're even older a little, right? Like a year. I mean, you must want to have kids. Well, I do too. Want to have kids and a wife. Put an ad in the paper. But this is done. Believe me, I know. I mean, it's how it happened for my mother. I know, Alex. I've traveled. I've been to India. I've seen the results of a lot of arranged marriages. And they didn't work out? No, actually, a lot of them were fine. Look, but... I know I could do something with that place of yours. Why don't you we... just buy it then? Because every rancher should have a wife. But should every wife have a rancher? Okay. All right. You're just you're too smart for me, I guess. I'm sorry. I just don't know how to take this seriously. Think about it some more. No. Alex, no.
do you see? Why, it's a beautiful flower. And you pick it and smell. <gasps> Wonderful. Now use your scarves and lightly, lightly on your toes. But where is our prince? Where could he be? Wasn't he here just moments ago? Our hearts are so big and so full. And we swoon and fall. <laughs> Very nice, ladies. You may go. <laughs> That's all for today, so. OK, we'll see you Wednesday. Bit of a traffic jam in town the other night? This is not making you more attractive to me. Look, Sophie, great women simply do not walk into this town. You're looking at a man in pain here. Dumped. Rejected. For what? Some bohunk. Anyway, I gather things didn't work out too well the other night. I hope, I hope. No melancholy baby for me? Guess not. He's a creep. I mean, I'm a creep myself sometimes. I'm saying it isn't true. As long as you know what these Ukrainian guys are after, with the exception of myself, of course. Meaning what? He is after my ranch, but you, you're just after my body, right? thinking about it? Alex, I don't know you. First thing after I left, I worked in the Duke. Then I got to thinking, what, what the hell are you doing? You know, you're 22, you... So I finished school. I went back for three months. Finished in three months? Yeah. Well, all the other kids were 15 and my knees didn't hardly fit under the desk, so... <laughs> I wasn't gonna hang around. Then I went north and worked the rigs. It was a miserable occupation. When the booze and the fighting kind of emptied me out, I hitched home. <laughs> it's really not sex, is it? Sophia, all I'm saying is I think us marrying is your best shot for a working ranch. That's straight goods. So, you're looking at me and you're thinking cattle. That's terrific. All right, Alex, how about we simply court in a traditional time-honored fashion, okay? We have a quick bout of nude wrestling, followed by confessions of doubt, leading to mutual rejection, and then if by some miracle it is true love, we cry, we say we're sorry, and we wrestle some more. <laughs> I'm not marrying a man I don't know, Alex. Coming, Alex? If we have sex, it won't make me not nice. Hey, 
one thing that I think, that I feel, there's probably a whole lot of that tough city girl crap you'd do well to dump. song. Sorry. No. No. <laughs> and it's just... And I've never barbecued before. <laughs> you didn't always... Your father cooked the meat. <laughs> I don't even like barbecued food. It's all burnt and dirty. When I get to Vancouver, I'm going to date. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, tell me about a party you've been to. How rich, the sophisticated, all those gorgeous university men. Was there a special one? More like your letters that first year. Bit nervous I like Alex or your mother. Mm -hmm. Just don't forget your dream. Whose dream? Oh. Look what you made me do. Burnt the burgers. Listen, I'll tell you, I finally figured out who those university men wanted to date. Versions of themselves with long hair and tits. Oh, Sophie! <laughs> yep. Just tell me that you're gonna sell this place and have yourself a life. You win. Beg your pardon? Okay. All right. Um, what do you mean? 
I mean, okay. You're saying yes? Okay, well, that's, uh... It's great. Uh, listen. <laughs> We're gonna have to... gonna have to call... Thompson's in the morning about... about this motor. Okay, good. Okay. I'm gonna wake up mom. Okay. You've never been a fool. Hmm? Don't tell me now that you're getting married just on the basis of of what? Sex, I suppose. No, it isn't sex, believe me. My parents. Your parents are Ukrainian. Whoa, well, mother. Stop that. I don't believe what I'm hearing. And if your father were here, you know he wanted me to stay. Your father did not give you this ranch just so that you could give it away. I'm not. We can make it work. Between us, this is a business. It's a partnership. You understand that? Understand? Understand? What should I understand, Mr. Bresnyachuk? What is there to understand? You should have been married a long time ago, and you know that I sure enough understand that. What is that supposed to mean? I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't going to. I was not. Alex? She's talking about Benny. You tell my daughter the truth. He's my son. With whom, Alex? With Annie Malone. I knew Annie. That's why I left. I see. You got her pregnant and you left, is that it? So where's your son now? He's in uh, Markovich's class. Why didn't you just tell me? Why didn't you just tell me the truth? I wouldn't have... Oh. God, I'm so tired. Alex, tomorrow, this little arrangement between us has not happened, all right? You work here, I pay you, and that's it. Good night. Go! Sophie, you just don't. It's not sexual. I knew the first moment he said it. If I wanted to keep the ranch, I needed his help. And I find you could be a concert pianist and travel the world. No, I can't. Mother, I don't have it. Whatever it takes, it's not there. 
And I am not here because I think that I failed. I am here because this is where I want to be. And this little incident isn't going to force me away. I'm not going to make that mistake. I can finish up the season. What? I decided I better go. Yeah, fine. Listen, Sophie, I shouldn't have... Look, if you think it's a threat, it's no threat, okay? Just so you know. No, I wasn't thinking that. I just thought that, uh... <laughs> I'm going to lunch. I'll be back by 3. Listen, you want to take it easy? He's going to be pretty feisty if he hasn't been rode. Ridden, and I've not been neglecting my horse, thank you. Doctor, you know, Dr. Morrison is right here. 
Says you just have a mild concussion, it's... but you're just equal. But did you get my horse? Alex got the horse. Did get the horse? Yeah, yeah, the horse is fine. Okay, now you just rest. Let's go. Just give him. That will. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sophie Ware. Mind if I sit down? Take the load off. Did you say you were drinking Sophie Ware? Gin fizz, slang, stuff with some peach snaps in it? Nothing, thanks. Who are you? We went to high school together. Uh, Livingston. Do you remember? Actually, I was a couple grades ahead of you, so... But... You know Robert Markovich, right? It's the school principal? Yeah, he said I could find you here, and I just would like to have a talk with you, if that's OK. I'm going to camp. Broad attacked me in here. Broke the mirror. Went after me with these shards. Fingers all blood, right? I decked her. Got some jackass beating up on you? Fell off my horse. Better than saying you walked into a cupboard. Well, what? Well, it's rather complicated. I'm involved with someone you used to date. Alexander Bresnichuk. Alex never beat up on a woman in his life. What? No. <laughs> no, really. I really did fall off my horse. Here, hold this. I'm gonna do what I came here for. I can still hear you. Um. Well, I just found out. He just told me about you. What about me? About Benny. Yeah, there's a Benny. Well, I thought we could straighten things out. You know, I just want to do the right thing. Yeah, well, you and Alex, too, eh? Sends me these checks. 20 bucks, 80 bucks, 130 bucks. Keep it. I still got three. He's back, you know. He's here now. I got a man, honey. What, you writing a book? I remember you. Miss Sucky Piano at school. Can I buy you another beer? Sure. Never refuse a beer.
You're telling me you're too good for him? I just hate to think that he walked out on you. You know, like it was your problem. Give me a drink. I booted him out. There he is, nice, big, popular white kid. And an Indian girl up and gets herself pregnant and ruins his life. I think I wanted that hanging over my head in this town. Screw that. I've raised that kid alone. He was fine. Just fine. Really? Not easy. Fine. Hi. So how you doing, Sasha? Fine. Everything's fine. So I heard you got married. He's away a lot. Long haul driver. So how's Benny? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Why don't you just talk to him? He's funny. So I guess he doesn't like me too much. Why? Because you left him alone with me? It's kind of insulting. Trish! Sash is buying. We'll start with three double whiskeys. My story you wanted to hear, it was hers. Oh. So now I suppose it's my turn. For what? Well, I have a ranch, and I thought I might marry myself a ranch hand just so I didn't have to pay him. Just a business deal. You think you're interested? I guess I thought you'd talk. Mother, um, I've changed my mind. No, no! Well, I guess we could just leave it there as a joke for Eleanor. Eleanor, you're kidding. Oh, did I forget to tell you? She called. Yeah, she called, and I invited her here next weekend for a few days. That girl will like the mood around here a wee bit. And Eleanor just happens to be a real estate agent, am I right? Kissing outside the bar on Main Street, you're a disgrace. Now, 
Avarisa Vinu, Podia Sasha. First time I've gotten as far as meeting the parents. They were real happy when I called. They think I'm marrying you for your money. You are. You'll like my mother. That's your father? She walks to me, all blonde, red dress. I am knowing she's spy. She's traitor. <laughs> and uh, she comes to me and she says, um, Rudolf, kiss me. Mm. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Mama then, <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> but our bloody man, Bresniachu. Oh, I kiss her. Then he shoots her. <laughs> He makes it up. You turn yourself into a joke. Alex. No, it's uh, all right, Mama. It's OK. I, I forgive them. <clears throat> but you made a sour note, Sasha. And it's all for you. So we talk married to Rudy, the oldest. I have to leave all land. Money. And uh, to look, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Negotiations later, Papa. It's OK, Sophia. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Your father, Sophia, is a wonderful man. Now, everybody says it. He comes here from the city, Mr. Green Acres. You are my wife. Goodbyes. <laughs> what do you say, sir? That's Alexander Vesniachu. He's a good-looking boy, mm. yeah? <laughs> But your papa would look at him and say, that one is a good worker. Yeah, just like buying a horse. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> your mama. <laughs> no, I think we should be leaving. OK. Walk with me. Sasha. Because he has a grandson he does not know. It's so hard for Papa to forgive him. I thank God for you, Sophia. She's a modern girl, Papa. She won't. No negotiation, no. She's strong, you see. She's smart. It must be done. Well, it won't be done. Her mama, you tell her to call me. It's for her mama to decide. No, Papa, I won't. Don't be ashamed of us, Sasha. Never be ashamed of your family. It's me? Me? I embarrassed? This one, at least you marry first. Been in this country 40 years. How the hell's it hold on to the accent? Do you find me attractive?
I've never even dated a girl. With a diploma. You sure you wouldn't like a little coffee, tea, or...? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. You're getting married. You're not getting oh, married. You're getting mother, married. You're not getting married. Thing. Oh, God. <laughs> Eleanor. Oh. oh wait, a wait a second. Really, shoulders? Yes, yes. Ooh. Tall. Oh, mm -hmm. stop. Oh, God. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? What? Are you hiding him? No. Come on, Sophie. Tell me. Where is he, Sophie? He's up. Um, what? Well, I don't. Why don't we go for a little walk first? Wait, and wait. We, we could. You <laughs> You want me to go for a walk in my full price suede mod freeze on oh. pumps? What are you crazy? We'll take my car. Okay, well then. No, wait, wait. Let's let's take my truck. What truck? Oh. What are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> You own this too? Oh, well, it's here. Oh, well, what do you say we condoize? Uh, no, 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 really. It's clear potential. <gasps> and there's more than enough room here for an in ground pool. <laughs> oh, my. Now, doesn't that just break your heart? Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> kind of makes you think of the old girl stuck in the shack waiting for a man to come home. She's lighting her little lamp. Nobody to talk to but entirely unfashionable rats. No rats in Alberta. Oh, no. Any man who sticks the woman out here is definitely a rat. <laughs> <laughs> you look fabulous. Ah. It's a makeover. Huh. That's a small fortune. How's Arnold? Well, let's just say that there's without question rats in Ontario. <laughs> so listen, this fiance. Mm hmm. I do hope he's worth the easy 300K plus you could get to this place. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so tell me about him then. Well, he's not impossibly rich or intellectually intimidating. What am I hearing? I think you're hearing me mimic you. <laughs> he's straightforward, clear-headed, and I can be myself with him. Ah, so is it, uh, L-O-V-E? No, it's um, business. So... You know, Eleanor, listen, I've been here a while, and I can't do the shtick thing anymore, you know? And I don't even want to. Wait, do you think this guy's gonna think that I'm totally superficial? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Listen, I know how seductive that whole urban cynical thing is, but I gotta tell you, you know, I, I watch him ride his horse or play with the dog, and he is so under the surface. All right, all right. I promise that I will be on my best behavior. So then what is disposable income is under, what, 40? So, wait, so, I... I've seen it happen before. The eldest inherits land and the younger boys marry it. Generations of plain girls.
Carol's. The pants and husbands were never at home. She's not playing, Vera. Well, that makes it worse. That boy just wants property. What are you thinking? I was just waiting for my dad to come out of the barn for lunch. Make him a toasted meatloaf sandwich, maybe. And... He never once admitted he was dying. You or to himself. Do you know how I knew? Last month I was getting ready to go back to Toronto and I was packing and running around and he asked me to come in, sit down, and read his will to him. I'm sitting right there. And I read, to my beautiful, smart daughter, Sophie, I leave this. Oh, he could look right into you. But he wouldn't let me cry. Hi, Soph. Eleanor Cruz. How very nice to meet you. Alex. Hello, Eleanor. Is so you're on uh, holiday? Or... Oh, I am. Uh, and it is such a beautiful spot. Except for the extreme lack of shopping. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not much of that. Uh, Sister of Mercy, you are an incredibly good-looking man. Listen. If it's that easy, I think I'm going to buy a farm and get one, too. some of this. Mm. Did you tell her? Vera. Uh, Ellie no, thinks Vera. that, you know, with the way that uh, city people are buying up country properties and with the proximity of Calgary, well, it's not too late. You tell her? So face it. I mean, you won't last two years here. I know you. Uh, I'm. Oh yeah. I mean, I, he's gorgeous. Sure, but I don't believe it. Wait, no. So come on, just hear me out, all right? I have to get to the school. He's not worth it. Grapevine has it. He up and hit Greg Burley on the fist with his nose. Go clean yourself up and I'll give you a ride home. Put a 
cold washcloth against it, Ben. You like him, don't you? I'm not sure it's safe to. Yes, I do. He's different. He's a philosopher. He's very good at math, believe it or not, and I teach math, so there you go. Come on, you guys, break it up. I can give him a ride home, Robert. So I hear you're pretty good at math. Hey. What do you like, baseball? You know, I have this ranch out on the old number two past the bridge. I'm always looking for some good part-time Social help. worker or what? No, I'm not. Why? You sound like one. How so? You're full of suck, 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 I know who you are, right? With who? People know, so don't social work me. I just think your father would really like to talk to you, Benny, and I know you'd like to talk to him. Where'd you get this suck act? Don't tell me what I think, because what I think is that he looks like an asshole. Well, he isn't. He said nothing from here once, who hiked up my mom's skirts. It's got nothing to do with me. Nothing. Not a thing. mishap at school and it's okay ma she's no social worker mm. she's a friend it's the nicest thing i've heard all day <laughs> third season we were here but the bales in damp Sun got hot, pressure built up, the whole place blew. Like a crack of thunder. There we were, back in debt. Tea? Yeah. Thanks. And I always pretend not to be vain. Telling me your papa wants to negotiate with me, Alex. Brilliant girl, my daughter. And with money, go anywhere, do anything, anything. She's already had a taste of that anything. Sophie has performed solo on stage at the Ontario place. She'll leave here, end up with you holding a ranch in her chances. But didn't her father... Don't you dare mention her father. I'll negotiate. You tell your papa I'm prepared and I know exactly what to protect and how. I'll let them know. You know, I'll talk of sense and business. I've watched you weaving your spell. A woman who loves a man who doesn't love her is a fool. A fool's ugly.
You'll bring the thermos back to the house when you're finished. He won't confront things. He won't fight with me. When did he leave you? I don't remember. Yeah, I do. When it cheese sucks, that's what there is. Sure. He left town three days before the birth. Mama Brezhnev Chuck came to the hospital to tell me. Brought me pierogies. But I figured he'll be back, check it out. Make sure he's got all his fingers and toes. His son. I didn't care if he was in town, I just wasn't marrying him. Should have known better, though. When that boy is gone, he is gone. Twelve years and only checks. First, I thought it was his weird papa sending them to me. He sure is one beautiful man, though. Between you and me, makes the backs of my knees sweat. So, Vera tells me she thinks you two haven't been sleeping together. <laughs> Is that true? Well, it's kind of like the blonde holding out for the mink. Do you love her? Look, I sort of know psychology. My friends call me the lay shrink, but this is a new one on me. I mean, you could have just about any woman you want, right? Look at me. You hurt her, and I'll come back here with a rusty spoon and have your balls. That girl saved my life. I love her. She's the only real person I've ever met. Oh, I know you heard me. left early. You know, as bad as she must have seemed. Oh, I liked her. What? Really? Yeah. She's loyal. She's tough. So tell me, what goes on at these negotiations, exactly? Well, Papa will try to... It's so both parties can marry as equals, but it can get kind of hairy. I don't know about your mother. Oh, hey, don't. Secretly, she's thrilled. I mean, picture it. A few vodka toasts, hugs, weeping, and all that frenzy of competitive gift giving. Sophie, <laughs> you know what it is? Oh, don't. Don't worry. I'll be. We're doing this. Well, the Scots are no fools either. Either? I've always quite liked his mother. Welcome. Mr. Bresnachuk. Uh, welcome to Bresnachuk Farm. It's lovely. Of all the ways the wind doth blow, I dearly love the West. You like poetry, Mr. Bresnichuk? I'm let fans. 
That tree, it's all is mine. Fine piece of property. Oh, it's beautiful, yes. Some machinery goes with Alex. Oh, that he earned over several years' hard at work. <laughs> I certainly hope you've got a better tractor than ours that he can take. No, no, no. Tra tractor is promised to my brother Alexei. Oh. I'm sure we can figure something out. You ready? Mrs. Ware will have some more sherry. Oh, only a very little. Thank you. Sasha is an electrical mechanic, also plumber, furnace man, refrigerator fixer, and mud man. Oh, mud man? Oh, I don't believe. Mud man is not correct. Uh, on an oil leak. Uh, oh, boy, is very smart. Great wealth. Well, certainly a good farmer, which he must have learned from you, Mr. Presnichuk. Done an excellent job for us. Sasha will be good father, too. Is loving children. Hmm. Well, of course, our Sophie was an only child. Which I think they probably already know. Is lovely girl. Sophie, maybe you would like to take a walk, you and Alex? Uh, yes, yes, uh, Sasha and Sophie, walk. I'm not moving an inch. <clears throat> so... Settlement. It's very easy. Split 50 50. 50 50 is too much. Oh, naturally. <laughs> the question of control, yeah. Well, we can't dissolve the trust fund, for one thing, because I have to live on the proceeds until I pass away. <laughs> so that leaves, uh, essentially, the value of the land itself and the profits from the harvest if there are any, and the money that we've already banked from the sale of the breeding stock this spring. It's none of our business, Papa. Trust fund. How much? Well, that is money from my side of the family with which I have kept our ranch afloat and from which I currently derive my income. And that money will pass to Sophie and remain solely under her name in perpetuity, so there's no point in disclosing. Now, I do have a suggestion. I was going to suggest that we fix a flat sum on Alexander out of Sophie's share of the harvest. That way he can get started properly. Good. So now is it a question of land? No, no land. Oh, yes, land. No, 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 no. That's not good offer. Alex? Only with a full section, I will agree. My boy won't marry without enough of land. Well, <laughs> guess the wedding's off. Thank you, folks. You've worked wonders. Oh, Sophia! Papa, it's fine. Enough for it. Just a trick. Sorry, no sale. I don't like the deal. How can you just stand there? Suppose I thought that that was going to be about how much I was worth. Like a charming old world harem concept, and you know I'd even thought, oh, kind of funny. But we were buying you there. My poor widowed mother and I were trading land for a good worker. Well, I draw the line at buying myself a husband, thank you. Double standard, you say damn straight. And also, quite frankly, do you realize you got marked down? I'm going to bed. The 
Good night, Alexander. You have no idea what I feel. Nothing exists to stop you. No, you'd hike lickety split back. Maybe with a gift, maybe. You say she likes horses? Lock, stock, and teardrops. I'll be Here. They're gone. He went swimming. Oh. What? Can I come in? No. Lost Long stock and teardrops, I'll be gone. You want to punch me or what? Don't flatter yourself. I already saw the movie. Punch in, I'm supposed to cry and hug and all that crap. Why should I go through with it? Ain't my problem as I see it. I mean, uh, what would I get out of it? 
Nothing, I guess. Except this horse. Serious? Yeah. Gift's a good idea. You want a beer? You gonna have one? Hell, I'm only 13. I'll take the horse. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. I'm gonna drop this one a little bit. Give her a little more head, that's it. So keep that, that in your left. That's fine. Well, up here, so it's loose, right? Yeah, but it's uh, twisted, so I turn it. Uh-huh, it's OK. Hold on there. And then you just you hold the slack up on your right. And you don't hold on the horn. Okay? Can you, like, wrap it around? Stuff. No, don't wrap it. OK? Now you're trying to feel it mostly in your legs. Can you feel her underneath you in there? Yeah, you can feel her moving, eh? Yeah. That's cool. I mean, this is great. Anytime you feel guilty about anything, they can buy me stuff. <laughs> All right. OK, you're on. You want a canner? Yeah, let's try okay. it. OK, come on. Ever had sushi? Yeah. What is it? It's raw fish. <laughs> Save some time. Take it off, Annie. I'd introduce you to my brother-in-law. Can't see you, the guy with loose dentures. Sorry, so. Sophie. Who's that, Benny? He gave him to me. Hi, Annie. Figure out how much the feed is and add it to your next check, big shot. <laughs> horse for his engagement present. Gave her away. So, mm -hmm. what do we do on our wedding night with both our folks at home? <laughs> oh, thank you. For what? You just thought about me without thinking cattle. <laughs> we always fight, Sasha. <laughs> now, never again. Today, I, I have no words for one. Pop, you don't have to apologize. Apologize? I'm not apologize. Apology is weak. And sorry is weak. And I am not sorry. I say what I mean. How about farming? 
Maybe we'll just uh, talk about farming after the wedding. Just farming? Hmm. Oh, okay. Farming. <laughs> you need new tractor. Ma? It's for you. It's your wedding. Well, it's just a little something. It's... Oh. Oh, um, Irene McCallum will drive me to the station in the morning. Oh, good. I think she's going to sing at the wedding. Oh, no. Shoes. Oh, I'm plumb to match my hat. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I only hope that you and Alex have as much fun in this room as your father and I did. <laughs> ideas up my sleeve. Well, it's got to be a first time for everything. <laughs> <laughs>